Hello everyone, uh, this is part 5 of my Civilization 5 playthrough. Uh, this is this one I drew Korea on at the start of the game. I got an amazing starting lie, uh, and then I pretty much went on to make a hash of things. But that, um, that actually gives something to uh, try and play back from. So as you can see here, I've got a gold deficit of 5 gold, and my empire is unhappy. Uh, that means uh, I need to get the happiness sorted out and my deficit sorted out. If you watched the previous installment, you'll know that the deficit has been improving steadily uh, based on my recent actions. So, uh, <clears throat> As at the as this uh, starts here, um, I can't actually remember what I was doing, <laughs> uh, which is kind of odd since it's only been a few hours since I recorded the previous part. But anyway, um, since I play based on uh, essentially based on an algorithm, uh, I can pretty much work out what I was doing based on what pops up. Okay, so, right, so I was uh, improving my wheat here, um, right, uh, it make, seems to make sense to uh, improve the horses. At some point I need to build a road here. I haven't decided exactly how to make this connection. Straight across here is seven. Um, it can be made with six this way and I believe it's five this way. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's also five. One, two, three, four. And that one's also five across here. Um, one advantage of coming across here is I get a nicer looking road set up, but that really shouldn't be the concern because the roads work the same regardless how they look. And if I do put a pontoon bridge here, then it won't matter. So, um, I'm not sure which way I'm going to come at that, so I'll have to think about it some more. Uh, in the meantime, I'll just continue with the uh, turns here, and we'll see what develops. I see the gold is still going down. Okay, construction, that's good. Uh, what are my options here? Engineering seems like a good... Yeah, that one allows... that one does bridges, so... I think... Well, let's see... Yeah, it would have been nice to get Machu Picchu, but... Uh, somebody else built that in a previous turn. But alas, I didn't. Uh, Chichen Itza. No, Chichen Itza was the one that they built. Uh, Machu Picchu needs the mountain, that's right. It's harder. Uh, but that one's worth going for, so I'm going to uh, research guilds. Uh, I could build Machu Picchu here. Um, or I could build it to even he uh, here or here or even here. I have lots of cities where I could build it. 
so I think it's worth a shot. And uh, let's see. Oh, I can uh, build with faith. Now, where was I with those? Do I, I have Mosque and Pagoda there. Uh, I don't have either one here. Okay. So I'll build a Pagoda. That helps with the unhappiness. Uh, okay, and we'll keep on going. Now, I've got good faith generation going on here, 40 per turn. So I'll come up to the 600 fairly quickly there. Um, what is that? About 15 turns, I believe. Uh, yeah. Um, so that will be uh, pretty quick. And uh, that actually... Oh, what's the Adora want? No, uh, we're not going to make a friendship. Uh, as I said in a previous part, uh, I generally don't make the friendship uh, declarations. Uh, while it does mean that I can't benefit from research agreements, uh, it also means that I don't get roped into diplomatic snarls either. And it means I can declare war with impunity without uh, pissing off other um, civilizations who might be friends with uh, the one that uh, I declare war on. Uh, okay, I've built a shrine there. We'll go for a monument now. Uh, have a granary there. Uh, what do I want here? Hmm. Well. I think I'll go with a market. Uh, because I'm having issues with gold, I need to arrange it so that uh, my gold uh, uh, has the best chance of uh, uh, of recovering. And that's going to take something of a challenge. Now I'm going to have to get this sorted out to really straighten out that uh, gold deficit. Uh, okay, what have I built here? A market. Okay. Uh, yeah. So building a temple here would be a net loss because 25% gold would add one, but the maintenance is two. So uh, even if I had that uh, uh, policy in the piety tree, uh, this wouldn't be beneficial. But the uh, Colosseum will be in the long run. Um, okay. Okay, now in Seoul, I built a stable. Um, ideally, I'd build a coliseum, but I really want these um, guilds uh, because... Uh, uh, that increases great people generation. So I'll build the Writer's Guild. Once I start catching up with the uh, uh, the uh, technology, then I'll have a lot more things to be building in my cities. And it'll be a little little less uh, uh, tedious on the uh, figuring out what to build. But right now I'm consolidating to. Uh, get to the point where uh, I can actually do something. As you can see, I'm at the bottom of the heap for uh, happiness. So I really need to fix that.
Okay, so I've got a settler at loose end, or it's not settler, worker. Uh, so what do I uh, want to do here? Well, I'm going to uh, make some farms. I'm going to make them along the river here because that gets the uh, extra... Um, uh, food uh, sooner than uh, non-river uh, farms. That's the other reason I need to get the happiness sorted out. So the growth rate of these uh, these cities uh, gets back to normal as well. completed the pasture there. Uh, do I have any other resources here to improve? Um, yeah, I can improve the deer there. Okay, I've made a market here. Um, okay, now what? Well, stonework seems like a good idea. Comes with happiness, so definitely a good idea. And since I have the quarry here... Theodore is offering iron this time. Okay, I'll take that one. Okay, improve that. Composite Bowman. Well, that's different. Where do I need to defend? And I'll send it over here. Ooh, barbarian. I should deal with that. If I can take this uh, en encampment, I'll buy myself a bunch of turns before... Ah, uh, okay. Okay, I can buy a... Okay. Now I'm down to two unhappiness. Okay, that'll do. That brings me even for now. But I still will need to replace that gold some other way. Ah, now I'm negative again. What have I got here? Yeah. Okay. I'll work on that some more. And so I've got a stable here. Um, Coliseum seems like a good idea. 
I don't want to get too far behind on the happiness buildings, uh, especially since I'm building a sprawl here, so I want to make sure that things don't get out of hand later. Okay, so I'll build a camp there. Work on that some more. Uh, oh, I built a market there. That explains that. Uh, what? I think a circus would be a good idea here. Again, for the happiness. Oh, I've gone positive on gold. Okay, as long as that doesn't respawn, I'll uh, clear that next turn. I've gone further positive. Wonder why that is. Okay, that buys me some breathing space. Now I'll go back to sending him over here. That will buy me even more breathing space because uh, it'll be garrisoned then and that will uh, cost nothing uh, due to the policy I picked up last time around. So what I want to do policy-wise is uh, get down to uh, clear um, liberty so that I can get a uh, great person. I'll get a great engineer and then uh, I want to uh, head for piety. And doing that will allow me to get my reformation belief and hopefully I get one of the really good ones either the tourism one or the uh, any great person one. So what can I be building in Seoul? I'll build the Colosseum there, uh, gain for the happiness. I'm losing four gold per turn again. Okay, so what do I want to build here? Engineering, I think, just for the bridges. Because I'm behind on uh, science, um, I'm going to miss some of these wonders just because of that. And because my empire's been unhappy, I don't have a lot of growth going on. Uh, so. Uh, it's uh, definitely a handicap, but here's the thing. I'm paying the price now, but later on when there's really important wonders like the Great Firewall, um, I'll have much better position to build three or four of them simultaneously. Ah, so what have I built here? A shrine. Okay, we'll get the monument going.
Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I should uh, build my city connection there. Uh, I'm going to get a policy in, what, two or three turns here. Two, I think. So that'll be good. Oh, I can buy something with faith. Um, I should do that. Uh, Pagoda seems like a good idea. And I've evened out the happiness now. Uh, for a while. Okay, policy. This is a good one to go for because it'll improve happiness and it clears liberty, so I get a great person. Uh, so, there we go. Happiness 6 now. And I want a great engineer. Okay, I can garrison that guy. Uh, build a road here. Uh, now, and Machu Picchu is an option here. Yes, the plus 25% gold from uh, City Connections is worth it. Again, that's a declaration of friendship, so sometimes when you refuse that, they'll declare war, or at least denounce you, but uh, for the most part, it's harmless to refuse it. Okay, so that's good. Now, what... Uh, okay. Well, I'll just do some improvement around here. In general, anything that's plains or uh, grassland you want to farm on. Uh, usually you'll want a, a mine on a hill. Uh, you might keep jungle tiles around for later in the game when they produce science. Uh, but uh, the way I play, that tends not to be critical by the time that kicks in. Or it doesn't make much difference overall. Oh, we've got uh, uh, barbarians, so I should deal with them. Means there's a camp somewhere around here. Okay, I'll hurry that one. And kill the barbarian uh, okay I've got a monument here now what uh, well I think a workboat's a good idea for the fish here uh, good There we go, and take a look at that. That cleared the deficit. Uh, I need to heal that guy. Uh, what was I building here before? It was the Colosseum, wasn't it? Or, no, it was the circus, right? 
So I'll resume that. But with the extra gold from City Connections, it uh, will certainly help. So my cities are growing again, so that will help. And there is, in fact, a camp there. Okay, I think, um, yeah, iron working would be a good idea. I'm getting behind on military, so I definitely want that. This could be a little challenging, the horsemen here. I'll have to be careful with that. to them to attack so I'll do that uh, what do I do here oh well here's another farm location uh, by mid game I'll have pretty much everything around all of the cities improved even if I'm not using it now I do that because uh, mo most of it has no cost to keep there so uh, it it's there and And then it allows me to use it uh, as the city grows without much thought. Uh, you know what? I'll build a cargo ship here. Um, I think Seoul is in range, so uh, if it is, I'll be able to start sending either food or product well food that way i need workshops before i can uh, send production okay well i'll start going after that Okay, I'm going to have to let that heal now. And in Seoul, what am I building here? Artist Guild seems like a good idea. And I'm going to get a, uh, a religious building up next. Um, I'll heal that. Uh, okay, we'll go over here. Uh, yep, build a mosque. doing pretty good with culture as well and that's partly from those uh, religious buildings and that's why uh, I wanted both the moss and the pagodas because of the plus two culture on them along with the faith and happiness where is the okay well it's out of range
Okay, so I filled that. That's jungle. So by uh, clearing the jungle and building a farm, uh, I actually keep them out of food and I increase the production. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Uh, what did I build here? A Colosseum. So here I'm also going to build a cargo ship. So my goal is to make Seoul large enough that all of the guilds and everything can be populated and uh, that will really pay off later in the game especially with great person points uh, what have I got here and also I'll build a cargo ship there so I'll send all three of those to Seoul with food. Okay. Uh, next turn I'll be able to take that barbarian out. could be fun. Uh, now I need to upgrade my uh, warriors to swordsmen but I don't have enough gold to do that so that's gonna have to wait. Now machinery gives me no metal casting gives the workshop. Theology uh, now maybe I want borrow Buddha or however you say that. Uh, Well, that might be good, too. Um, actually, I'll go with theology. Right. Okay, I'll take that one, but I'm not going to attack that swordsman over the river. That would be dumb. So I want to get back into my territory so he heals faster. And then, from there, I can uh, figure out what to do with that swordsman. See, I've got a deficit going again. Okay, that's there. Okay, you see, I'd need 220 gold to do the upgrade, so I'll let it he let the uh, warrior heal. Okay, I'll build a mine there. Um, okay, I can purchase with faith. This, oh yeah, that seems like a good, good one. So I'm making real headway on the happiness now, so that will help. Uh, now I'm actually accumulating points to a golden age instead of losing them. As the cities grow and 
the number of uh, followers of my religion grow, the amount of gold here uh, will increase. See, I'm getting 12 from religion right now. Ooh, I impressed with culture. And right now I'd probably impress with faith too if someone if one of the city states was looking for it. Okay. Okay, that's the swordsman. Uh, I'm on a hill, uh, and he's over a river, so it'd be a more expensive attack for him. Yeah. Oh, that's a decisive victory. Good. I really want to get that gone so that uh, I don't have to deal with it later. It shouldn't attack this time because it has, like, no hit points left. But it's, yeah, I didn't. Uh, but that should be a no-brainer victory as well. Okay, here, this one should build the final connection. Yeah, okay, good. The barbarian swordsman is dealt with. Now I'll take my warrior and park him back in the city. Okay, that was a circus. The water mill, plus two food. Yeah, that'd be good. Or a granary. Water mill. I don't have enough room for another uh, trade route at the moment anyway. Yeah, see, here we go. Wittenberg's looking for faith. I have a good chance of picking that up with 56 faith per turn. establish a trade route. Yes, I can send food to Seoul. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, if this had been a land route, that would only have been four food. Okay. What does a trireme upgrade to? Caravel, Ironclad, Destroyer. Okay. A melee. Yeah, I'll build a trireme. Okay, that's a market there. Library be a good idea. Look at that, I'm up to 19 gold per turn. Oh, faith again. Mosque. Okay, so I'm going to uh, 
I have uh, a city connection here. So this is the nice way that roads can set up if there, there's exactly one gap between them all. You get this sort of Y connection. Okay, I want to bring the road over to uh, Guangzhou here as well. So I'll do that. Okay, so I guess I want to fill this stuff in too. Okay, science. Uh, yeah, that would be good. Additional food. Great writer. So if I write a treatise, yeah, that'd be useful. Now, whoops, I can, yeah, I'll aim into here, because this is the one I want, so I'll adopt that policy, and uh, that's 42 turns, wow, okay, what can I build here, this gives me a free great profit, not so helpful. I'll build that one. It's worth it for the faith. three road pieces needed to get over here. No, it was good I didn't go for the Hagia Sophia anyway. Okay, that's the trireme. I'm going to park it over here. not needed. Right, okay. Aqueduct is a good idea. It adds food. I'm not going to do anything with that. Okay. Now, by parking my trireme here, I'll actually be able to see any barbarian ships along there. 
again. I'll put a farm there. Remember, I'm going for population here in each city, uh, both for gold from uh, religion and for um, science uh, from the library and stuff. Okay, so I can. Oh, I've got the, I got the mosque in there, right? Yeah, I do. I have both in there. What do I do? I I don't I don't have them here. Okay. Okay, I'll continue with the road. Now, you know, I'm not using build road two. It's because it doesn't always pick the smart route. So it's better to just build your roads by hand. As you can see, it's taking longer per turn. Um, that is partly a side effect of the map size as it more of it gets explored by the various uh, civilizations and more stuff is actually happening. It's going to take longer to process the turn. Uh, it wouldn't be so bad on a 64-bit binary, which would be able to maintain more in uh, memory. Uh, uh, what I've noticed is that often when I press next turn uh, there's a fair bit of hard drive activity so that means that it's uh, working with stuff that's not in memory. Metal casting's good. Uh, as you note, that increased the uh, yield from the farms beside rivers. Um, that's certainly going to uh, improve uh, food in some areas. I'm going to come down along here. The reason for that is then when the road goes up here, I'm going to get one of those Y splits. Um, it's just an aesthetics thing. It doesn't really make that much difference. And I'm going to get a religious building this time around. right here. Oh, just built a monument. I think a lighthouse is a good idea here. 
to increase the food here. Now I should mention that uh, the stock game, Lighthouse, does not uh, uh, provide nearly um, as much useful result. Actually, I'm, I can't remember. Maybe the Lighthouse does increase the food on all of them. Uh, was it here that I was buying? Yeah. So there's the mosque there. Uh, what did I complete there? Water mill. Uh, actually, stable be a good idea there. And once I uh, build the road here, uh, I should probably improve that wheat tile. But, might also be a good idea to bring a road down this way. What's this? Well, that's a workboat, right? Okay. Send full food to Seoul. And I'll also... My... I don't, I can't reach any of my cities from there. Why? Oh, I don't have a granary. Uh, right, right. Wait a minute. Purchase. Uh, I don't have enough to purchase the granary either. Okay. Okay, I'll put the... Okay, what uh, here? Aqueduct seems like a good idea. And here... Um, library seems like a good idea. I didn't go for a lighthouse because there's land tiles here and it's probably going to pick those on border expansion over water. Uh, the mostest literate people. Uh, that really is not a typo. Uh, they're going for funny on that. should uh, restart that. Right, so by sending food to Seoul, it's giving enough for the automatic governor here to fill up the artist and writers guilds. And that's actually a really uh, good thing for to do and there you can see uh, here uh, one of the advantages of Korea and that's the two science for every specialist and this is how we're going to catch up in science uh, from the uh, deficit we had just a uh, hundred turns ago 200 turns ago it was really bad As you can see, uh, it can easily get down to really not doing anything on a given turn. Now you may note that I'm, I don't have any exploration going on. That's because my scouting archer actually died. Um, so I haven't bothered to make a new scout. 
that's intentional actually. Uh, I'm not overly concerned about making the uh, World Congress initially. Um, later on, uh, when it's at least when it's going to be the United Nations, uh, I'll make an effort to get enough delegates to uh, become the new host. Um, refuse another declaration of friendship. Okay, that was an aqueduct there. Uh, let's see. And amphitheater is probably good. Probably good to start building those. They're a culture building, so it's good to uh, keep up on culture. I've had a boost from my uh, religious buildings, but uh, you don't want to get too far behind on those. And I can build another building. You want to get these up as soon as you can. Uh, okay, yeah, I've built both of them there. Uh, because they get more expensive as the eras progress. So if you can get them out early, it's a lot cheaper. city connection here real soon now. And I can build workshops now. That'll be good. Oh, I have options here now. University, Oxford University. One free tech. Anchor Watt. Right. Harbor. This is one of the uh, buildings that's uh, modified by the uh, one mod I have operating. Um, I'll go for education because I really want Oxford University. And there's my city connection. to build the connection down to Suwon here. That'll have all my cities connected. Uh, that will be uh, useful uh, later on. Okay. Okay, I'll go for that tile next. Oh my, I've got a Barbarian Swordsman over here. Well, let's send a warrior after him. There's got to be an encampment somewhere around here. Uh, upgrading might be a good idea. Oh, 
Okay, again. Uh, Okay, I'm coming up on, on an hour here, uh, so it's just about time to uh, call it the end of the part here. I'm going to deal with this Barbarian Swordsman first. Ah, okay, I'll take the promotion, I'll take the decisive victory. Uh, what do I, oh, I can build something here. I think perhaps well, I built a library. Uh, go for the Colosseum there. And I believe I can build a mosque here. Yep. Uh, right. I can now I'll back the swordsman back into my territory and let it heal um, before I go looking for an encampment there we go Ooh, a great artist. Oh, policy. I'll get my reformation belief now. Okay. Okay, the tourism option is not here. This one is useful if you're trying to bribe city-states. Um, this one could be useful if you're fighting uh, um, people trying to spread their religion. Uh, this is not so useful, really. Uh, this one is one of the really good ones. Um, it means that I don't have to op like close out all of the... Uh, uh, social policy uh, lines to be able to purchase any great person with faith. And uh, with the absence of the uh, tourism one, which gives you tourism for every bu building purchased with faith, uh, this is actually the next best one. Or the best one, depending on your what you expect to be doing. Uh, this uh, may be useful, maybe not. Um, and this could be useful if you're fighting people spreading their religion. But this one, I'm really glad it's still here. Uh, it or the tourism one, but this one is the really good one, uh, especially if you're playing with great people. Um, because, as I said, then I don't have to complete four or five of the uh, trees there in the social policies. So, uh, I will select that one. I actually wanted the tourism one, but I didn't get to that uh, reformation soon enough, so it's not that big of a deal. And that is actually a really useful one later in the game after the industrial era starts. And this is a great artist. I could either uh, turn him into a great work or start a golden age um, 
but I'm not sure which one makes the most sense. So I'll get uh, a, a work of art in the palace, but and that'll give me two tourism. Golden Age, on the other hand, will last 16 turns. Is it worth it? I'm not sure. I could also save the artist for later, but I will create a great work. So, uh, one more turn here, see what happens. Uh, is that actually, yep, that's good. Sometimes they'll say, they'll offer a deal. They'll say it strengthened uh, the nations, but it'll actually be a deal that expired some time back. So you need to be careful and make sure that they're not uh, tricking you into trading your last uh, of a particular luxury. This isn't a trick, and uh, we'll accept it. Okay, this will get a farm. I need production over in Pyongyang. Uh, what do I want to build here? Uh, I'll go for a Colosseum. And now I can establish this. And I'll give it one more turn. After this turn, I will call it apart. I know this isn't just one more turn. What I want to see is if it changed anything in here. And it didn't. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to call it a part here. So I'll save the game. So on turn 546, that's the end of part 5. Uh, next time around, it's going to be more of the same. So uh, no doubt uh, you're going to find this tedious by the time this series is done. Uh, this is about a third of the way through the turns on the game but it's probably closer to a fifth of the way or so through the actual uh, game itself. The reason for that is the turns are going to take longer to process as the game goes on, and it's going to take longer to actually do the stuff that needs to be done uh, as the uh, turns progress, especially if a war breaks out at some point because there will be a lot of fiddly moving troops around and getting them to the right location. Um, although I suspect this particular game isn't going to come down to me waging any significant kind of a war, at least until uh, later on in, in, when it will be more naval. Uh, <clears throat> and simply because of the lay of the land, it will be hard to get troops in to actually attack me. Uh, at least without me seeing them coming. So, uh, fortunately, I think this game will be a fairly peaceful one. Anyway, uh, that's the end of part five. Um, thank you for watching this far, and I'll see you next time around.